Hey, welcome to another video. In this video, we will configure Tailwind CSS with Shopify Team CLI and Alpine JS. So this is a configuration video and it might get longer, but it is very important so you understand how everything is working so far. Now Shopify CLI will watch for any changes and it will set up our development team. Now here is the thing. We build at our team based on Tailwind CSS and it requires a compiler. Now I get a lot of questions on people like ask me why you use Tailwind. You can choose your own framework like Bootstrap, Windy CSS or any other. First of all, Tailwind is very popular, a lot of people use it. Not only that, version 3 of Tailwind has a great feature called JIT, which was inspired by Windy CSS. Now JIT, uh, what it does is it is going to generate your CSS based on a HTML5. Imagine you have a section and in that section in Shopify, you have used 10 Tailwind CSS uh, classes. And it is going to scan that it will just create 10 css classes for you it will not use all the tailwind like um css uh classes that already have in the tailwind file i know tailwind file is more than two megabytes so that's why jit is a great for shopify team development especially when you need uh, speed and optimization so it is a great tool it is a great library for building a shopify team so that is one of the reasons and throughout the course I will tell you more in a practical example of how easy it is to migrate some section of your team from one team to another team. I have worked with a lot of teams and this is the best like solution so far. So in this video we will configure um, uh, Tailwind CSS, AlpineJS and Shop with Shopify um, CLI team. So here is the thing we have to do. If we go to getting it started on Tailwind CSS, there are different options. So you can use Tailwind CLI, which you can install in here, and you can use post CSS. You can, if you have any other framework, there are some other options. Basically, here is what we do. We just configure um, a watcher for Tailwind CSS. So the watcher is going to watch for any changes in our liquid file. As soon as they see the changes, it is going to generate a CSS file for us. That's all we need to configure. But here is the thing. We are not only writing CSS code, we are also writing JavaScript code. In that case, the shop, the Tailwind CLI will not do the trick for us, right? It is only for CSS, great, but we need JavaScript also. We might write ES6 code, we might include some JavaScript slider. So we need a compiler to compile CSS as well as JavaScript. We can use Webpack. But to learn Webpack, it will take some time to configure it, understanding how it works. Although it is really easy uh, when you go to the documentation, but there is a tool called Laravel Mix. And it is an elegant wrapper around Webpack for the 80% use cases. So what we, Laravel Mix does, Laravel Mix, once you install it, it will ask you for a source and an output. It says, give me your CSS or SCSS or JavaScript I will compile it to the directory you want me to do. That is all the Laravel Mix is doing. It is not specific to Laravel, the PHP Laravel. You can use it on a standalone project. So in this video, we will use it with our Shopify team and it is a great tool. So let's start by installing Laravel Mix. As I said, Laravel Mix will ask us for the CSS. We give it and it will specify uh, as an output. It will compile down that for us the JavaScript as well as the CSS. So if you go to the documentation and here is how you do it. You just initialize uh, the NPM in here. So I will come to my team in here. Here I have a fresh team called Shopify Sunrise. I cleaned up everything and created this fresh team in here. The only thing I did was create it like um, initialize the get in here. Before recording this video, I recorded 20 minutes of this video and I noticed at the end that the mic was not connected. So this is the third time I'm recording this video. Second time also didn't go well. So I'm not going to complain. Before doing that, let's install the NPM uh, in it Y. When you pass the flag of Y, it is not going to ask extra question. It is just going to create a package.json for it as here, which does not have anything except this uh, common script in here. Now let's install Laravel Mix. I am going to do it step by step, so it should be easy for you to understand. Once you install Laravel Mix, all you have to do is create this file. If you're on Mac, touch 
this file will create it for you I'm going to run this beside this so you can also understand like it should create this webpack.mix currently this is empty but I'm going to close it so it will take some time to install all the configuration because as I said Laravel mix is a wrapper around webpack I'm going to close this one now if you check you have a lot of you, you notice a lot of changes in here because the node module folder is here node module right so let's add it to the git ignore I'll come in here and I say node underscore modules I will save it now git will ignore node module so we should not have 10k files in here now the reason it is not affecting is because it will take some time because my browser my vs code is a bit slow so now once you install uh, this one all you have to do is configure it open the webpack.mix that you have created and import it so i'll come here let's open this and will import mix you can name it anything we call it mix by default and this is what you do you specify a directory and it is going to compile that for us let's go to the examples that they have there is a good example it is specified the javascript and scss file for us now i will come down and put it in here what it does is mix have a function called js it has a function called scss this one will accept both of them will accept two parameters this is the input and this is the output for us the output is assets directory we say we give you this file compile it if this is es6 code or any javascript file compile it to this directory and the same thing goes for the scss file that we write in here so now i will come and create those source folder in the previous video i said do not create a folder inside the assets it is a great place to put but Shopify team CLI threw an error and say like an error without any description. That is the, the wrong thing like they do. I hope they fix that in the future versions. But I will create a folder in here called SRC. And inside this SRC, I will put all my sources. SCS, JavaScript, anything I need. Now here is the thing. Shopify will completely ignore it. That's fine. They should ignore it. All we need is we write our code in here and with uh, our Laravel mix will compile it as compile it for us and we just need the compiled version for the Shopify team to work inside this I will create two folder one called JS so we might have more JavaScript file in the future one called SCSS although I don't want to create a lot of file but it is good to have them now it is side by side let's create uh, app.js inside the JavaScript one and a file called app.scss inside the scss one now let's come back here you know we have a subfolder for the js and also a subfolder for the scss one that's all we need right now this is scss let's put a simple code in here let's say the background is all this code right which automatically completed here for me now to compile this all we need to do is come to your terminal run npx mix now if you run it it is going to compile it for you first of all it is going to lo uh, load the sas loader because we are using scss it should use the it should load the scss or sas loader now we should run the command again when we run the command it is compiling that file for us in here now see app.css and app.js was created in here it was not here now this is our css uh, that we have in here now as you know if you have uh, let's say a button inside the body this is the good thing about css and this is the coloring for example i save it and if you check it here it is not in here so if i run it again with the mix there is another comment also so i will just make it a little bigger let's close this one so you can see if you run uh, npx mix watch it is going to watch for any changes in these two files it will compile it down for us now this is the scss file and this is the css or the compiled version of the file so far it is working great we configured laravel mix and everything is working fine now i will just finish this watcher see how great it is showing everything in a clean way this is all the file they created now it is time to add our tailwind css and alpine js 
it should be really easy now we come back to Tailwind and they say you can install it using this command right this is what we install Tailwind CSS so let's install it uh, the reason I do it from the documentation because if you follow and see an error I will tell you why that error happened now let's run this command this command should create a config file for us let's run the command it create the config file if you see an error for post CSS not found make sure you install post CSS to this one sometime a bit confusing but it works for me because I already have it now run it clean it up the next step you have this file let's open it uh, this is the Tailwind configuration inside this we have all the configuration now the good thing about Tailwind is you can configure it the way you want with bootstrap you cannot do it now the most important part of this file is this content in the previous version of Tailwind it is called purge so inside this it has an array and the array accepts some source and some files what does that mean it means when you run the uh, the JIT the Tailwind JIT as I said in the previous in the beginning of the video is going to scan your file and based on your file it will generate your CSS right so which file should it watch it should not watch for any file in your project right here you can specify which file to watch so in this array i'm going to copy and paste some of the project uh, the file i have from another project this is the thing we say go to the config directory and all the json files go to the layout all the liquid file go to the asset all the liquid files this is what we do also go to the customer directory which is a subfolder and get all the liquid files so if i check this one it is the templates folders here are some files that we have if we have any tailwind css classes in here compile that for us that is all we need to do this is the configuration we save it what is the next step add this one to your css since we are using scss i will open the app.scss in here and instead of all of this we will paste the tailwind classes in here now if i save it let's run the laravel mix watch or laravel mix only let's see what happened it compiled down successfully now let's open the assets app when you open it it imported this now this is not what you want it should compile tailwind css do not import it directly because this will not do anything so to fix the issue uh, we have to tell laravel mix that it should use the tailwind configuration we have this configuration we never specify this okay now the best way to do is you you can do it in here now i have already done that in this project i'm going to copy it first of all you import it in here tailwind CSS. you import it and then you can give that a second option in here mix has another function called option inside the option you can specify custom webpack configurations now if you are not working with webpack that's fine that's why we are using laravel mix to make it easy i'll remove this and the last one is a function called option it will uh, accept an object of arrays this is also important uh, this is for when you have an image inside your css file it is not going to compile this which you might see an error but for post CSS, we are going to use tailwind configuration this is what we do so if i save it in here let us compile it again check it out so far the css looks like this okay now i will use the laravel mix and it is going to compile it this time it has the tailwind css the compiled version now you have successfully achieved or you have successfully configured tailwind css let's give it a small try imagine if you go to the layout and theme this is the layout in here so i will scroll down here we have this main class in here let's use some of the tailwind classes in here if i say bg blue 600 i save it uh, it didn't do anything because we didn't run npx run watch now it is going to watch for any changes okay what went wrong yeah it, it is going to find find 
all the files and it is going to ignore those npx okay we say run watch instead of mix watch okay because we don't have that coming in px mix watch let's check it out now it is going to watch for the changes now this is the watcher which is listening to any changes also it did compile that for us i'll completely close that file and we are not going to touch a lot this app CSS because we write all the CSS in our liquid file we'll open this one just as an example you see this blue in here it was compiled now above this there is nothing else now if i come here and say text lg which will create a font size of 18 pixel we will talk about the extensions in the next video some resources but for now let's check it out it did create that class for us in here only those classes see there is not a lot that's why especially when you are running it for production it will compress everything for you i mean laravel mix will compress everything for you a strip of all the extra uh, css file and your file will become much much less than 9 kb 9 kb is not a lot still since we are in the beginning of the project that's why it is very small but we will close this and it is done like um tailwind css is configured with shopify team cli now is the time to install uh, alpine js it is really easy also you go to installation and there are different ways you can install it but we are going to use npm so let's install it yep it should install that and then you can just put this in your js file import alpine assign it to the window variable and then start it the reason you put it is an optional to assign it in the window variable but you have access it in the console not only on the console across your application anytime you call alpine it is available and throughout the course you will understand how alpine will make your life easy a lot of people get addicted to jquery if you want to go modern alpine is the way to go it is like replacement to jquery but it is modern and it is much much faster so i am going to open the js file and let's put it in here compile down everything successfully and if you go to the directory of assets this is the app.js and if i scroll down this is our javascript file and it is the alpine thing so i'm going to close this one because we are not reading that but that's all you need to do and configuring alpine and tailwind was very easy so now we can close up our uh, terminal and everything and we are ready to do like ready to go with this basic configuration and we can do the rest of it in the next videos so i hope this video has been informative and you learned something and in the next video i am going to show some resources some extension for browser and vs code that will speed up your development again thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video